Hey guys, how's everybody been going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to talk about the life cycle of effect hooks in React. Um, actually, I have uh, created a video uh, talking about use effect before, like a long time ago. Uh, it's last year. Yeah, if you're interested, you can take a look at that video. And I did the uh, investigation by just a pure uh, setting up breakpoint and debugging, and it's kind of messy. So. Uh, in this video, I'm going to like uh, uh, summarize the life cycle of effect hooks. Um, by effect hooks, I mean use effect. Uh, it's just the passive effect, not use layout effect or some, some other stuff. And uh, I've already prepared a blog post for this one. You can access jacer.dev. There's a link uh, under this video if you prefer reading, the uh, reading a post. Uh, it's perfect for you. Um, I'll just uh, uh, do some uh, explanation uh, based based on this uh, blog post. So let's begin. Um, when we re uh, write a uh, use effect, uh, effect hook, um, basically we like we have a function component and we use effect and setting up the dependencies and we do some stuff, right? And then uh, we return some cleanup function. I specifically uh, named our function, uh, uh, use function, not the, not the arrow functions here. I just use this is, means this function is the create creator and this function return is the cleanup function. So yeah, create effect and destroy the effect. So basically we use the uh, effect hooks like this, right? So there, I think uh, to answer, to explain the life cycle of an effect hook, there are three questions. The first one is what happens when the use effect is first called? So when this function is called, what happens? And second, what happens when depths change? We all know that it change, uh, the effect will be rerun when the depths changes, right? And the cleanup will be run. Um, but how does that happen internally? And then when do cleanup get invoked? Um, uh, uh, this is something uh, pretty interesting is that when our uh, component is uh, unmounted, like uh, it is when it's uh, removed from fiber tree, actually this cleanup function is also um, uh, is yeah is executed. So how did that happen? Um, so we have these three, three questions. Let's just jump straight to the first one. Okay. So when we use the debugger, we can target what the uh, uh, the internal function for uh, use effect here. Uh, if we access the source code, we know that use effect will resolve to mount effect for the first time and update effect for the latter updates like and that, like when we say when the depth changes, yeah, uh, except for the first one, it's reasonable because when we first use the effect, it, the fiber tree is totally empty. Uh, we don't need like uh, do all the same check stuff. Um, it's it's uh, a clean state, so it's reasonable to create a separate function to do it like easier. Yeah, sounds fair. So in the mount effect, we what we see is pretty simple. Here we just uh, mount a hook. Uh, Actually, this is just to create a new hook. You can see our work, uh, mount work in progress hook. We just create a new hook. Uh, everything is set to now. And then uh, attach the hook to the mem memo state. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, after create up the hook, we would push an effect, put put the uh, return value set, set the return value to the hook. And uh, this hook, uh, this effect is created uh, in this function, push effect, we can see that we just to create a new effect and passing our creator function and destroy function, but destroy this for mount, it's empty. And the tag set up this effect and the effect will be uh, attached to the update queue. So there's a two things in a fiber. Uh, one is hook link, uh, linked list. Uh, yeah, but it might be two way linked list. Um, I don't know. Um, but but we have no. It's not two way. It's only one way. But they have some. There has some uh, 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 interesting uh, structure like uh, keeping track of the last effect stuff. But you can think of like a linked list. We have two linked lists on the fiber. First is for the hook. Yeah, it's stored in the memoir state on the fiber, and we also have a linked list of effects. The effect is stored on the fi on the fiber by the update queue. Yeah, this this we we must we must be familiar with this concept. So, um, for a hook, you can think of like a hook is like a, a linked list of state, internal state, right? Because for function, you might think that it's for a function, there's no internal state, but we want to add that internal state 
sort of internal state in our fiber structure. Um, that that is why we store the 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 kind of like a snapshot of a of a of a hook. Um, so it's yeah, it's reasonable but like a user naming memoir state. Uh, this name will be used for other hooks as well. Uh, for here, uh, we just we we just uh, uh, it's just for the effect a hook here. Yeah, a linked of a linked list of uh, uh, hooks in memoir state on fiber, and also we have a linked list of updates. Yeah, effect means side effect, so it means update in the update queue. Um, and, uh, and this hook has specifically, and the hook has also the MoMA state uh, property set to the effect. Yeah. Yeah. So, update queue, you, you can, we can infer that from the name. It's that it's a like list of updates which must be run, uh, must be updated, right? So yeah, update queue. And uh, that's it, that, that's the basic structure. And so, a fiber could have a list of updates in you know, update queue, a list of hooks in MoMA state. For effect hood, it tracks the effect as well. So effect means the effect here, uh, push effect. Effect here means update. Uh, yeah, this is the effect. And effect hook, effect hook is the hook we created here by use effect. Use effect to create, create a hook. That hook actually will uh, create an effect here. Yeah, one thing to notice that is our create function, like the like the create here, is not in, invoked right now. Uh, it's just a store in this effect. Um, why? Because we know that effect will be run after the the DOM is committed, right? So uh, we we cannot just run run it in the use effect. We must delay it. Um, yeah, we will come back to that later. Just to know that uh, uh, in the when the function is when the function component is rendered, when the use effect is triggered, uh, is invoked, uh, nothing happens. We just set up this data structure, and the creator function is stored there without doing nothing, without doing anything. Yeah. Cool. Another important notice is that effect tag um, here. You can see push effect. We accept the tag, and uh, when the function is called, we pass in a hook has effect and something tags. It will be set to the effect. Yeah. This is very important because important tag is used to mark the status of a, of a effect. Uh, yeah, one of them is one of them is hook has effect. It's actually just a, a binary mask um, because we amount we set it with with it has effect. So it means that e this effect this function not function yeah this effect should be run some some time later. So this is very important. Effect has a tag, uh, some battery mask to mark that uh, if it should be run. So uh, we can guess that if the depth has changed, if the depth has changed, um, like here, if the depth has changed, we would mark it the effect as has effect again, right? Um, it will be so it could be run again. The effect here is something different. It, it means that this effect should have some uh, changes. Yeah. So this means just a has effect. You can see that it should be run. You can treat it as should be run. Cool. So when the function is run, we set up the data structure. When exactly will the effect be run? Yeah, that's in flush passive effect. We've come up, we've come to this function like a few times in our previous videos. Um, so to be short, it will traverse through the whole fi fiber tree and uh, to see if that the effects should be run by checking the has effect hook, uh, effect has effect uh, flag. When this function will be run, it, actually there will are a, a few places, but one of the import, most important places should be in the commit root here. Uh, you can see this is the code, like say, if the subtree has some passive mask, finish word flags as passive mask, and the root has some passive effect. This is kind of like internal optimization. We can ignore that for now. And then if there is passive effect, we schedule a callback and flush them. Yeah, this is normal schedule priority. We will come back to this uh, later about the scheduler. But you can see that basically it means that if this fiber tree has some passive effect, uh, you already know that, right? We already know uh, by, by running the function, uh, we, we, update, uh, we update the flags and then 
we schedule a task to flush, flush them. So in flush, uh, we can see the uh, source code, but basically there are two functions. Uh, it does two things. The first one is commit passive on mount effect. And the second one is commit passive mount effect. So basically they're uh, like uh, symmetric. Um, we do on mount first, it's reasonable. Uh, remember when we re updates, we, we have the updates in the depths, uh, the cleanup will be run first, right? So this is means that we would run the cleanup first and then run the uh, run the effect again. Reasonable? And uh, yeah, let's first take a look at the commit passive on mount effect. Um, there's a lot of code, but you can ignore that. Uh, basically, it, we can see that it would this while loop is just, oh, oh remember one thing about the begin and uh, complete? We've already covered it in the last post, um, in the last post about this algorithm to, um, oh, sorry, there's a link error. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, but you can see in the previous post about how React Travis fiber tree, uh, it's pretty interesting and very simple. Um, every time we saw, see some functions uh, postfix with begin and complete, you can treat it like you can you can know that it is just some way of traversing the the fabric tree. Cool. So in this begin uh, of, of, of about this commit passive amount effect, um, ignore the details. We can see that it actually checking if there are some deletions on the fiber and uh, trigger the amount effect in the deletion uh, of fiber, deleted fibers. Why? Because when we are when we are doing the reconciliation, when the fiber should be deleted, it would just to be removed from the new fiber, right? And uh, but how do we know that? Uh, because it's already removed removed from the fiber tree. How will we know that we need to uh, remove the real DOM stuff to do the cleanup? Yeah. So we need to uh, keep track of the removed nodes, right? So that's why when the when the removed fibers will be tracked by its parent uh, in this deletion so that we can do some cleanup work. So this part of code uh, is just doing some uh, doing something about cleaning up the uh, deleted fibers. Yeah, exactly. And then in the complete is the real work, I would say. Yeah, that, that is part of the job too. Uh, here, you can see that we have called the uh, commit passive amount on fiber. And here, you can see this function called commit hood effects list on mount. Also, we have passed in the flag, like whose hook has effect, hook passive. This function is like a common function used in many, used in many places to to uh, to uh, to run the effect on the fiber, but effect, but a fiber might has all kinds of effects, right? Layout effects, pass effects, other some effects, I don't know. So this kind of like works like a filter, um, means that we run the passive effects and also if the effects should be run. Yeah, two conditions, passive effect, and also it needs to be run. Um, and you can see the real implementation of this function. You can just, we can just uh, loop through, yeah, yeah, while loop to loop through the effect list and check the flags, all right? If it is passive and it needs to be run, um, for the mount phase, this will be has if, uh, has effect, so it will be run, and um, and uh, we check the destroy, and uh, if the destroy is is not undefined, and then we just uh, safely destroy it. So this is pretty simple, huh? It's just uh, it's just to check, uh, it's just to check the flags and the destroy function of the effect list, and then just uh, just to, just to invoke. Invoke it. Invoke it. You have. A, you might have the question: Is that um, the destroy? Right. We 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 haven't said it. The destroy when we set in the amount phase, it's empty. Uh, yeah. Also, I think you've already guessed it. This is talk about unmount. Uh, we haven't mounted yet. When we mount, the creator function will be called and the destroy will be set. Yeah. It's actually. It, that 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 is the thing. Okay, uh, we go to the commit passive mount effect. Similarly, they have this true traverse algorithm, and here is also we loop through the effect and check uh, the tags if you want. And then you can see 
uh, we get the created uh, create a function and uh, invoke it, and uh, this will return the return kinema function, and we set it to the destroy. So, so things are pretty uh, clear now. When we first mount it, okay, I I'll just summarize in the later. Um, we mount it, this create a function will be called, the destroy will be set up, and the uh, and the in the future reconciliations, we would reconstruct this effect list again, right? And set the right tag, if it has, we need to be run, we set up the has effect, and the, the React will just search for the whole tree to find this passive effect and run them, clean them, clean up, clean them up and run them. And of course, it might sound like uh, inefficient and the React has done something internally to uh, boost up the performance, uh, reduce the unnecessary checks. Cool, let's go to when, what, what if the depths changes in our if, use effect. Uh, the, remember, the use effect function will be uh, tr uh, invoked again when the function is re-rendered, right? The, the, uh, how uh, the, fu the function component is re-rendered is another topic, and I have another post explaining how React bait out um, it's, works. It's very interesting, so just to refer to my other post about it. And anyway, when the function is rerun, re uh, the use effect will be run again, and this time, uh, the dispatcher will be changed and it leads to another function. So it's not the mount effect anymore because we've already mounted, uh, it's update effect. We go to the update effect here, and uh, it's pretty uh, alien to me. Um, there are kind of three things need to be explained. First, uh, what update work in progress hook is doing, and also, uh, what is the current hook? We did, haven't seen it anywhere. And uh, here you can see the comparison uh, about the depths. This actually checks if depths change it and they're doing something. So uh, what exactly it is doing? So these three questions, we'll come back, uh, we'll come to them uh, one by one. The first thing is that uh, we need to recall what uh, what reconciliation does in React, right? Uh, basically, React has like uh, two tree. Um, let's see. I think uh, in my previous videos, I've already covered it. Like the second one. Um, where is the second one? Yeah, it's about oh third one. I think it's about the uh, yeah. When the React does the update, we have this current tree is on the left, and each fiber has a ordinate. A fiber, uh, we can call it like alternate fiber tree, and this is actually the working progress tree. And we don't change anything on this current uh, tree, but we only change the thing on working progress. And then when it's completed, we just swap it and make it this current, and this will be the working progress. It's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a, a simple clone of the. No, it's not a clone. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you can think of like a fragment when we are creating DOM elements. Uh, we, we create a fragment, put them here, and then just to replace it for once. Yeah, the idea is very simple. So, current tree, uh, work in progress tree. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, and let's first visit the two globals in our source code, which is also used in this update work in progress hook. The current hook, and for each node, for each fiber, we already said at the beginning of this video, each fiber has a list of hooks and also a list of effects, right? And uh, in order to compare it, compare it then, uh, we 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 need to we need to com we need to store the state, uh, yeah, store the steps, right? Um, yeah, when we have a received a new depths, we need to compare the old one. So the old one is in the current tree, and because it's a linked list, uh, one by one. So we need to keep keep track of this current hook so that we can compare the right position. So you can also see that why the hook order matters in React. If you just miss them up, it will just create some bugs. Yeah, current hook and a work in progress hook. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. We when we are doing some work on this, like say like on this fiber, we need uh, uh, we have a variable tracking the current hook on this current fiber and also a work in progress hook. Track, uh, tracking uh, the, the hooks on this work in progress fiber. Yeah, this is the current work and work in progress hook. A uh, current work hook and work in progress hook. 
So let's dive into the details about this function. Uh, this function is, yeah, at the beginning of updated hook effect, we need actually get the hook, right? Get the hook, yeah. So the first step to get the hook is move the current hook to the next step, yeah. The first, which we, yeah, we move to the, uh, the current hook status, right? Yeah, we moved it forward by checking if it has the next, yeah. And then we move our hook in a, doing the same, moving our uh, hook in a work in progress fiber a step forward. Um, this is something I, I didn't understand well, why there will be, uh, why there, there might be uh, something in the next, because I think I will, I'll, I'll come back very quickly here because they are all reset it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not pretty sure, I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, when we move to the next work in progress hook, if there is, it's here. If there is, then we just set it. We move the current hook forward. We met, we move the work in progress hook forward and it's done. We've already find the, 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 the new hook we want to work on. If there is none, we create a new hook. Uh, this is kind of like the mount hook, right? We create a new hook, but by copying the current hook stuff here. Yeah, and then uh, in working progress hook, um, wait a minute, yeah, in, yeah, 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 here. You can see that we create a new hook, set it up to the next, and return it. So yeah, that's it. It means that um, it means that here, update work in progress hook. We've already got the right hook we want to work on uh, by order. The order is very important. And then current hook is the current uh, in a current tree, right? Yeah, we compare the depths, and we could go to the next step. I'll push you back. Yeah, I have list write it here. Why sometimes the next work in progress is now and sometimes not? Good question, yeah. Um, when our, I've put it here, when our component gets re rerun in render with hooks, you can see the source code, their memoir state at update queue actually reset, yeah? Yeah, it means that when we get this fiber, um, it will, the memoir state, the hook list, and update queue, the effect list, they will all be resetted to now. And uh, so it will should be now. So this should be always re, uh, uh, newly created. But in this newly created, you can see that there's no next. Um, this hook has new uh, no next, and the effect list is empty. Uh, yeah, it's set. So I don't see why there are some cases like here. There is already a work in progress. Um, I need to find it out. If I find it, I will just answer it here. Yeah, so I guess it will always be now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so um, we've already found the hook. We compare the depths. And then if it is equal, we push this new effect. By, but not, you can see that we don't have the has effect if flag here. Uh, meaning this effect will just be put there. Uh, the React will not run it. So you might think that it, since it's already uh, memo state the hook. Um, wait a minute here. Yeah, you can see that, uh, why don't we just use the memo state uh, in the current hook? Um, this is a good question, so I am not, I'm not sure. I just think that maybe it's easier to just create a new effect without run it, uh, because we are, if we copy the memo state, we need to uh, deliberately remove the has effect flag, right? We need to update the, if we take a look at the create push effect, Push effect, where is it? Push effect, um, I'm, I'm, I'm here. A tag and the next, and we need actually need to uh, cl manually uh, clean, clean them. Um, so that's why maybe uh, push effects create a new effect will be easier and cleaner, and that's my guess. And also if the depth has changed, so this is not true, uh, we push the effect again, but this time we have this ha hook has effect set up to the effect and things will be the same as what we do in the mount effect phase. And the, the, this effect with this hook, uh, with this flag will be run in flash passive effect. So our second question has been answered and also the third one. Um, what's the question? This question is, 
what happens when depths changes and also when do cleanup gets invoked. Uh, let's summarize it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So an effect, this is a capitalized effect, means the effect object on the update will keep track of functions passed to the use effect. Yes, uh, following properties, one is tag is to mark as mark if it has should be it should be run again. And it is create function we pass in and the destroy function. This is a cleanup function which will be get uh, which will be got from this running this create. And this effect object will be uh, linked together and put into the update queue on fiber updates, meaning they should be update the updates they should be run. And when the use effect is first run, a new hook is created and uh, links them together um, on memoir state on fiber. And also a new effect is created uh, in the update queue with this has effect flag. And when that effect is run, run and is mounted, create in the mount phase, uh, in, in a flash, uh, in a flush, in a flush passive effect, create is invoked and destroy is set. And so this will be updated. Yeah, which means if an effect has has effect flag and also destroy, then destroy should be called. Yeah, because flash passive effects will run on mount first and run the uh, mount second. First search for effect and destroy and clean them up. Also here, uh, this answers the third question. It will handle the deletion of fibers and it just clean up all the effects in the clean, deleted fibers and search, yeah, search the uh, effects and run them. This means that you can you can see that this is just a, a really a side effect. It doesn't store pre any state. It just keeps snapshots of that about the depths, right? It doesn't uh, store some result. Uh, it just uh, has a flag marking it is if this function should be run or not. So yeah, pretty nice side effect. When component is re-rendered, the work in progress fiber has an empty memo state and an empty queue. Yeah. So when the use effect is run, um, they will be recreating the hooks list and effect list. Yeah, I'm not sure why use effect is not revoke, revoked uh, in flush pass effects. I think because maybe uh, we've already seen it, um, it will have some, it has some optimization which it will check first like if flags on the root and the finish to see if there are pass effects needs to be run they will be a uh, simpler just to toggle that uh, toggle that flags uh, rather than revoke them um, really I'm not sure uh, but but anyway it doesn't matter because when it is run uh, it will be put into the current uh, current tree and it will not be run again uh, we only run it in the uh, work in progress tree. Yeah, I mean, we run it for once and then everything is com committed, everything is done. Um, this tree will be the current tree and uh, effect lists in on this fiber will not be run again. They will only run the effects in the work in progress tree, which is another tree. And it will be, the effects will be created uh, during your reconciliation and be run from there. So. Uh, I think uh, it's not revoked to be simply because they, we don't we don't need to. Uh, it's not necessary. Cool. So that's all for today's video. Uh, hope it really helped. Uh, um, yeah, it really helped me under just a uh, review of the life cycles of effect hooks and pretty interesting. Yeah, we've already answered these three questions. If you have any questions, you can uh, put them in our co comment. Uh, text box here and uh, I'll try to answer it. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.